The Lincoln Project put out an incredible ad just dismantling and exposing Tucker Carlson for the massive propagandist that he is. And I'm gonna show it to you, it's incredible. But first, let me give you the context. So we've talked on the show a good bit about how much of a Russian propagandist Tucker is. And we're not saying that because we love throwing around the term Russian propagandist or, oh, you know, Russia's controlling everyone we know. Like, no, it's because Russian state TV, Russian state media plays clips of Tucker Carlson on their programs because they think he's so good at spreading the talking points that they want to hear within the context of the Russia-Ukraine war. So we've talked about this before, but he is a huge um, pro-Russian individual and anti-Ukraine in a conflict that is clearly placing Russia in the wrong um, and Ukraine justifiably defending themselves. So here's an example of that. That commitment, but why this one? What is the point of this exactly? We can't say we're defending democracy in Ukraine, which is not a democratic country. We can't explain clearly or even at all where our national security interest lies in this conflict between two Eastern European countries. So why would we bankrupt ourselves to fund it? Could it be that this entire effort is a choreographed scam to enrich the Democratic Party and its allies? and achieve left-wing ideological goals that have nothing to do with the core interests of the United States? Could it be this, this whole thing is... So he's saying that the whole thing he's talking about is us supporting Ukraine in this, funding them, etc. It's BLM Eastern European edition? <laughs> well, it's possible. Because that is how Washington actually works. And the So this is Tucker Carlson's way. Just ask a bunch of questions to make points without actually having to stick to the points you're making because at the end of the day he could always respond to huge criticism by saying i was just asking questions oh um <laughs> but <laughs> it's incredible he's saying is this blm east ukraine edition i don't know it may be is this all just to enrich the democratic party i don't know could be <laughs> it's so strange what are you saying tucker is that your point or is it not? Um, here is another example. This is so obviously a scam. I mean, it's an ideological jihad. It's a holy war being waged by some on the left against Russia for their own creepy ideological reasons. But it's also a what? It's a jihad, a holy war against Russia by the left in America because we're defending Ukraine that is being aggressed upon, that is defending their own country while Russia wants to take it over because Putin has a distorted view of, of uh, Ukraine being a part of Russia rightfully when it's not. How is that even something your brain concocts, Tucker? And the strange thing is, as we're about to show you in this incredible ad, Tucker Carlson is being played on Russian state media, which shows you how empty the talking points are on Russian state media because the points that they think are so incredible that they want to pull from Tucker's show are trash. They're so empty. They don't have any substance to them. No, the reason we're defending them is not for some ideological jihad on uh, Russia. It is because it will have huge lasting ramifications if we can show a country like Russia that they, just by the fact that they're more powerful, shouldn't be allowed to take over a less powerful country. That's not something that should be allowed on the world stage. Um, and everyone will scream, but the United States has done things because they're really powerful. True. And I don't support those things. And as I've said before, just because you've done bad things in the past doesn't mean you shouldn't try to do good things in the here and now. And uh, there are a million reasons why it's in the United States interest now, why we're acting in the way we are. But setting those aside, the outcome has been we have stood up on behalf of Ukraine in the ways that we can without getting into a direct conflict with Russia. And that has turned out to be good. So then here finally is the ad by the Lincoln Project, pretty much just playing a bunch of clips as you'll hear with the commentary from Russian state media that were played on Russian state media because they uh, consider this to be such good propaganda on the part of Tucker Carlson, the most popular American cable news host. Democrats in Washington. Democrats in Washington said that your patriotic duty is to hate Vladimir Putin. Many Americans have joined this directive. The hate of Putin has become the central goal of the foreign policy of America. Very soon, this hate can lead the United States to a conflict in Western Europe.
Почти так же, как военнослужащий ВСУ на репортера Fox News, на своих коллег срывается ведущий этого канала Такер Карлсон, а заодно и на всю администрацию Байдена. And of course they're promoting war. Какие же мерзкие эти люди. И, конечно же, они продвигают войну, а не поддержку демократии. Украина не демократия, никогда ей не была. Это сателлит администрации Байдена. So what is NATO and what is the purpose of NATO since the fall of the Soviet Union 30 years ago that NATO was designed as a bulwark against? Well, no one can answer that question. Not one person. Imagine how we would feel if Mexico and Canada became satellites of China. Why do I why care about what's going on in the conflict between Ukraine and Russia? Because, and I'm serious. Like, why do I care? Tell you why. And why shouldn't I root for Russia, because, which I am? Because... Absolutely. So, what are they doing there? They're not... Democrats in there's, Washington. Uh, excuse me. They're just playing clips from Russian state media that play him and also showing you documentation from this leaked memo um, from these networks where they want to start putting Tucker Carlson into what they're putting out in their audience uh, to their audience because they believe this American TV host, uh, cable news host, is so good at spreading our talking points and our propaganda and that is very scary now i've speculated i really don't have a good explanation for why tucker carlson has taken this path other than him kind of lusting after or for the right-wing authoritarian uh putin regime kind of like enjoying the idea of this unity around right-wing authoritarianism but there's just not very many good uh explanations for why someone would make so many not logical arguments around this conflict um, to such a massive audience, but that's what he's been doing. So there it is, just humiliated by the facts. Um, Tucker Carlson, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before any of the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get access to an extra full show every Saturday that only members can see, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley, and there is a link in the description.